What is up guys? It is nice to see you again. This song is made on Garage Band for the memes. I stole it from PewDiePie and used it for dancing. What's up everyone and welcome to 20%. I just have to be much. I I touched my eyes once. I barely touched my eye, and it has just decided to inflate like a fucking balloon animal. I'm gonna look like one of those squeezy ball things soon. <laughs> so our first story today is going to be the vegan teacher because, of course it is. So I kind of felt sorry for a little Mr. Penis head here. So I kind of took little Mr. Pe You hear that? It's the sound of nature. The birds are happy. They're chirping. Why? Because of the vegan teacher. Because she can't give them so much shit anymore. The vegan teacher has gotten banned off of TikTok. So we all love the vegan teacher because of how mentally insane she is. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Normally, uh, normally the rule when it comes to like comedy and things like this is you can only joke about something that you are. And um, so that makes it uncomfortable to talk about an elderly woman. But the thing is, it's okay for me to joke about her because I'm also retarded. So she's made a whole bunch of videos within the span of the last two seconds. My woman here is literally pumping out 30 minute videos every 30 minutes. So, so quite literally, she is not sleeping anymore. But there has been many things that she has done now that she's banned off TikTok that are questionable to say the least. And we're gonna get to the grand finale of this video, Are You Racist, in a very quick second. But before we get there, let's watch some um, new things. Let's let's have an, an, a vegan entree. Don't teach kids to hit animals. Have you heard what's new at the new No, I Disney haven't. Zoo. What's new? There's playful new elephants and baby meerkats too. <gasps> and it's all <coughs> Simps, mate. Why do you awaken me? It's your homie. Have a cute, innocent pig. Nice. So what we're doing here at a young age is that we are teaching kids that it's okay to harm animals. Excuse me, vegan teacher. Um, I don't know if you've ever watched things like Sausage Party or uh, Toy Story. Those are the same movie. Um, but I don't know if you know this, but inanimate objects, when they're alive, tend to yearn to fulfill their promise. It's kind of like the muffin from the Astaff movie. They genuinely want to do what they were made to do. So those piñatas are begging to be beaten the shit out of. That unicorn is begging for you to eat it. <laughs> Top of the morning, laddies! <laughs> Dirty. Here's the hole to fill. Very lightweight. I don't like the idea that there's a hole to fill after I just made that joke. <laughs> That's a little fun one. But the next one I want to talk about is um God Dream and my new TikTok account. God and Dream. Nice. That is like putting Transformers with the Quran. It, it just no. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, it's been up for two days and I have I don't know, 280 and 61 followers. Can I just say, it's very nice of God to go on a banana phone call. I'm pretty sure that's exactly how he did it with Moses in the book of Exodus. Who are you? I am that I am. I don't understand. Genesis? Doesn't matter. You know what? The kids are here now. I, I gotta teach a class. Okay. Okay, call me tomorrow. We'll see if the account's still up. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Hey, God, I heard you just got off the phone with a vegan teacher. Nicholas Clancy Brody, you have no right to speak to me anymore. God, man, that's not, that's not very kind. Um, no, ever since you've been playing with that Hego, whatever it is, it's been really weird. It is just a hobby, and it is art. It okay? is art. You are weird. Everyone is weird. This is why I'm considering like flooding the world. I take it back. Just not being fully and completely out there. I'm just kind of using a lot of of uh, these sticker things, so I'm not doing anything. Which is good, because I, I want to become vegan, you know? I'm, 
I actually want to become vegan. I'm genuinely serious. I want to. I, you know what? I'll eat the banana phone I just talked to God on. Look, the thing is, I think it's really best if we just don't hurt animals anymore. Oh. Oh, fuck. This is so, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I am using this figure here, which is apparently, like, I'm not exactly sure what it is. It's a sticker. So stickers for those of you who don't know. Shut up. I'm, I'm sorry, but just shut up. You cannot harass Tomothy Is It Not and then not know who Dream the Epic Minecraft YouTuber is. Is not, that is just not how it works. Okay, but finally, Finally, we're gonna get to the end. This is where it's bad. Genuinely. And I'm gonna be censoring out half the screen here. So, um, enjoy this. This is Are You Racist by the Vegan Teacher. Look at this beautiful child. Beautiful eyes. Beautiful smile. Beautiful curly hair. Beautiful skin. Can you think of some words right now that are banned? Poggers? I think that's a white racial slur. You can't say poggers. Not with a hard R. You must say poggars. <laughs> poggars sounds like an STD or something. Babe, I've, I've contracted, I contracted poggers. How am I gonna tell my parents? I don't know. Just tell them something weird champ happened on the weekend. Does this girl seem to you like she might be naturally intelligent, gorgeous, generous, <laughs> exemplary, and radiant? No, she's a stuffed toy. And I'm sorry, but calling someone a Nicholas is not a good idea in any way, shape, or form. And I did scare you there, didn't I? She looks like she could be that to me. Now, how do you think this was responded? Well, we don't know because uh, obviously comments and likes and dislikes are turned off, but that's beside the point. The vegan teacher is a bitch. To the point where I had a school teacher come up to me today and say, wow, did you hear about that vegan teacher thing, Nick? You should make a video about it. Hey, Miss Riley, if you're watching, nice to nice to see you. Sorry about me using slurs just two seconds ago. This caused quite a lot of like negative reactions, and now she's going, "Oh, but it's censorship. That's bad." It's like, Shut up. Hello, students. Today we're going to talk about censorship and how censorship is dangerous. No, it no, it's good. No brain. Drum it. We've forgotten the brain. Gorgeous, Gorgeous. Generous. generous. So far, do you hear any insults at all? directed at this dark-skinned girl. Well, if you truly weren't racist, you'd read the same way as um, old Japanese texts and read vertically, because then you'd see the word ni- These are all compliments. Guess what isn't a compliment? The word ni- Exemplary and radiant. She looks like she could be that to me. Gorgeous. All right, fine. Yeah, I think that works. Actually, no. I got something truly white. It says... Kill me later. Look into that if you want, if you really want to sit through the vegan teacher waffling for 20 minutes, but I, I don't think you'd want to. I guess morbid curiosity, but there's no real reason. Just ignore it for now. She'll probably pass away in a week. The first yeah! screen teacher test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity uh, test that progressively gets more difficult as you continue. Co, 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 co. Nice! Right. When did you learn to play piano? If you don't know, PewDiePie was in a recent subscriber war with Coco. It still technically is, but it was it's a dead meme. Don't worry about it. Basically, PewDiePie wanted to end this whole subscriber war by making a diss track on Cocomelion. Cocomelion. Yeah. The Coco Melillion Falcon. Ironically, I downloaded it because I wanted to uh, I wanted to show you guys, but I quite literally cannot do so, as if I show this video with sound, I don't even know if I can even show with uh, footage, but if I show this diss track right now, this video I'm making will be taken down. So, um, bye bye pudes. All your hard work went down the drain just like my pet goldfish. Just like the blood of my wife. Anyway, but the funny thing about this diss track is it got taken down, which is the reason I can't show it. So, why did it get taken down? Well, it was asked on Twitter why it got taken down, and the answer was as pathetic as you'd think. Basically, PewDiePie broke their community guidelines as it was a video that bullied and harassed Cocomelon. Fair enough. It 
did. This is the page that YouTube themselves linked to when it came to this video. In this page, if you read it, there is a part about exceptions to the rule. And there is a part here called scripted performances. Insults made in context of an artist medium such as scripted satire, stand-up comedy, or music such as a diss track. That's the interesting part. Because it quite literally says, in brackets, diss track. And Pewd's diss track if I was to show you, you'd see it's rather satire. It, the jokes are so pathetic, they're literally him calling a whole bunch of three-year-olds virgins. Unless you have my uncle, you would be a virgin at three years old. Now they also give a whole bunch of examples of what could count as bullying or harassment. Like things like, look at this filthy slur. I wish they got get hit by a truck. <laughs> or, what? Okay, I didn't actually read that before. <laughs> look at that cracker. I wish he got hit by a truck. And another ironic thing is the fact that PewDiePie more directed his targets of actual harassment towards 6 9 a rapper who uh, molested children. He broke many laws. Alright, so... Conclusions here. This was a quick one. Yikes. But conclusions here. Did Coco deserve to get banned? Well, no, I would say not. It's, you know, it's pretty standard for YouTubers, YouTubers to make diss tracks on other YouTubers. But at the same time, Pewds could have toned this down. He really could have. It was a pretty disgusting video. And honestly, it's a pretty funny track. Like, mimicking the way a child song would be. That's funny. That's the type of thing I'd love to make. So, hey. I give that to him. But unfortunately, that's not the way it will be. I might make an OnlyFans and upload PewDiePie's Coco so you can buy it or something, I don't know. Next story. No shit, Kyle! My parents got home. So in our theme of racists today... <laughs> Alright, so... I feel like this video has taken a big theme of people saying the N-word. Because, um... We had a third person who has said the N-word, only Jaius. But let's tell you the story, let's get the whole picture. If you're not aware of who only Jaius is, she is a rather prominent TikToker who made her fame from telling people facts, or more specifically, psychological facts. She made a name for herself with a very common series where she'd say, psychological tricks you may or may not know and then proceed to tell you things that you could use on another person or maybe use for yourself. It's all in good fun. But only Jaius fell from the spotlight. Like... a falling spotlight. Only Jaius fell from the spotlight. But how she did so requires a bit of a story. So, let's get into it. The first thing that happened with only Jaius is that she got called out for using Google as her primary source for all of her content. This is fair enough, there are many, many channels on YouTube, many accounts on Instagram, many accounts on Twitter, many accounts on Reddit, and now even TikTok, that just use Google to get their fame. Now, only, only Jayus didn't really like this. At first, she avoided this. She avoided this state, but there started to be a bit of hypocrisy when only Jayus started to call out the people on TikTok who also use Google for their facts, claiming that they had stolen it from her. Unfortunately, Google can be used by everyone, except the Chinese. I saw my dad laugh at that. <laughs> anyway, this put blood in the water. The sharks were out to come and get only Jayus. Now that there was a reason for distaste, there could also be a reason for more hate. Which then leads us on to the second thing that happened. TikTok, like Twitter, is an absolute barren no man's land. Now there are some people who are willing to go into no man's land and have a little bit of fun. For example, the Australians in World War I who stole a tank from no man's land because they were bored. This is like you and I, the weirdos on TikTok. But on either side of no man's land, are a million people attempting to fight, attempting to share their opinions like they're the only ones that- And only Jayus joins said fight. She made a TikTok where she discussed the abuse of women, which is a terrible thing. Which then she proceeded on to talk about how, in response, men say, not all men do that. To which she replied with, it's enough men that women have the right to be scared of everyone. Easy, no shit, Kyle! We obviously know not all men are like that! But it's enough! There's enough men acting like creeps
believes that it scares all women. Now, an opinion is valid, but the thing that ticked people off was the fact that when people made rebuttals, when people used statistics to disprove this, or when people used she would attack back in the comments with just straight up opinions. People were making the claim of, oh, black people commit many crimes, does that mean we should hate all black people? Obviously not. This is the logic. Where only JS fell the hardest. Now that there was enough controversy surrounding only JS, people started to come out with stories. And one person came out with screenshots of a DM conversation between them and only JS where only Jaius says the n-word. <laughs> what is it with everyone in this story saying the n-word so far? Every story I've said so far has included some layer of racism somewhere along the track. <laughs> he just straight up says it, like hard ER and everything. Like not even just a pogger, like poggers. Which it now it was the final straw. The straw that breaks the camel's back. The straw that chokes out the turtle. This time there was no saving for only Jaius. Unless you're a white girl and just like psychology facts, apparently. And only JS made the best response I've ever seen in my life. If you were to write down the most stereotypical apology video on the internet, I've made a severe. That would be the exact apology that only JS made. There were tears running down her face. There was a sigh. There was even. I don't expect to be forgiven. I was a different person back then. Look, look, look. It was very generic and very fake, and she moved on basically instantly. Funny part was, she even used the whole excuse of, oh, I can't be racist, I like black people. Look at me, support black people. Psychology fact number one. Actions speak louder than words. That's not a psychology fact, I just, my mum told me that once. Now, there were repercussions, such as only Jess losing her Netflix show, which seemed to be fair enough. I mean, we've seen the damage that saying certain words can do to certain creators in the past. Only really seems fair. What a fucking- What is this book I'm reading, by the way? I'm just holding a book. What is this book? It's the works of Lord Byron, the greatest of the romantic poems. He is rolling in his grave right now. He is somersaulting right now. <laughs> now in the end, there are still fragments of the damage left on only JS's account. Fair enough. She's still making content, she's still moving on, and still there are people saying that she should be forgiven completely, that people should move on. There's many layers of irony here. There's many layers of hypocrisy. For example, when Pyrocynical was accused of talking to an underage boy, his career was almost ruined, but almost no one's talking about the whole James Charles scenario that happened a couple of weeks ago. Someone can say, Schlatt is my favorite racist as a joke, and then suddenly Schlatt is a terrible person, but only JS can say the n-word, and now she's basically gone out of it scot-free. Other than losing a show. That, that's not scot-free. Personally, I think she can move on. I think she can improve. I think if she was to take more time and effort, she could create something that she was truly proud of. Something that actually set her apart from the old person. Going back to who she was originally, just completely with Google, completely sitting in her own bedroom, that's... It's like she's ignoring it. But if she took the time, as an indie creator, to craft something that could actually show that she was above her past mistakes, then I think she can be forgiven. As I said, it's up to your personal opinion. Anyway, that's that. Thank you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Um, it was a very interesting one. I felt like these stories were a bit new uh, for me, especially. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you know, as I said, analytics haven't been really great recently. So um, I do appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch this. It means a lot to me. Anyway, hit like, hit subscribe, make yourself a Nutella Toasty, and I'll see you in the next one.